Ouch. Derek's gonna be mad at me. One, two, three, four, get my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive, six, seven, eight, feeling great. Nine, gonna shine, life is good. I'm doing fine, ten, gonna do it right and do it again, yeah. I look into the sky with all the beautiful color, but there's more than just for me, so gonna share it with another. I got to show, to give, let out, I want to sing and shout. Take a look and see a beautiful morning that turns into a beautiful evening, and together make a beautiful life. And if you want to sing, guys, I am working at home this morning doing up a few of Al's and look who decided to come up and join me look hi so I even got her a nice little blanket that she could lay on because mommy's that nice huh but now this one and I got this one a blanket to lay on out here while his daddy's snuggie it's a snuggie but usually she loves this stuff, so I'm not sure why she's not laying up on it. Here she comes. Yeah. Enjoy the snugginess. But yeah, so I'm working this morning doing some eval stuff. And I'm going to do dishes. And i got to make the girls a grooming appointment. And then I'm going to be working on my schedule for tomorrow. And then I need to work on some dance choreography. And that's, that's it. That's all I have to do today. This is what my little area looks like right now. It's quite a mess. I've got like all my new stuff. I've been going through some of these pages. I've got my evaluations. I've got my folders for my evaluations, my computer, my iPad, which I've been watching videos. I've got water. I've got just notebooks and more folders and that's another assessment and that's my binder but I am ready for tomorrow I've got all of my notes done from last Friday which I hadn't really come up with a form to put them on or anything I just like scribbled out some notes so now I've got them all official and they're in a, a chart that I can use each week. So I've done that. I've gone over each individual child's goals and set up um, what I think I'm gonna do for them tomorrow. And now it's just a matter of like actually making copies of some things and um, planning out just some minor details that I could probably do tomorrow on the go. Now, uh, it's almost lunch time. See. Yeah, 11.23. So I'm going to probably do some eating of my lunch and then, uh, you know, I'll watch like a few more videos and just kind of chill. And then after lunch, I will do dishes. Ew, don't look. Don't look too long. Ugh. I'll do the dishes next. Dang it, you guys. I was washing the dishes and of course we have some dirty knives in there. And what do you think I did? Cut myself. Son of a biscuit. That hurts. Ouch. Derek's going to be mad at me. He always tells me when I cut myself, be careful. Well, you think I was trying to cut myself? Like, really? But anyway, that hurts. <laughs> hey, guys. Just headed into dance with Miss Emma. She's my chauffeur today. We're actually in my old car, which I know yesterday or whichever day it was, was freaking out a little bit. We got footage of that, or at least you complaining about it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is my original car. And now Miss Emma has taken it over and made it zebralicious and pink and girly. I never really decorated the car ever. I just left it. This is the joy of being the home tech guy after Christmas time because now it's the older brother's job to set up the TV, set up the Blu-ray player, set up the Xbox so that his little sister can enjoy all this stuff when she gets home from dance. Well, it looks like she's all set up now. Hey guys, I'm back up to the house. I uh, got my sister's technological devices all set up for her. So tonight when she gets home, she should be all set to do some 
just dance in or whatever else she wants to get involved with now. Tonight is dance night. Jessica is up doing her dance classes and that means that I am home fending for myself. I think we're gonna do a little bit of noodles for supper again tonight and then I gotta edit the video and maybe just do like watch a movie later or something. I've still got that Ghost Rider movie that uh, I want to watch so maybe we'll pop that in the movie player later and watch that till Jessica gets home. Well, sounds like it's time for the hot water to come off. You girls ready for movie night? Hmm? The girls and I have decided we're gonna watch a movie tonight until Jessica gets home from dance and we're gonna watch one of the Netflix movies I had in Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Uh, that is the sequel to the Nicolas Cage uh, Ghost Rider movie which I have to admit I have a guilty pleasure for Nicolas Cage movies. I think he's kind of become infamous for being in some over-the-top, less-than-good movie roles, but I always get a kick out of Nicolas Cage. I love Nicolas Cage movies. Take them one right after the other. Crazy Nicolas Cage plot. I'm ready for it. Buckle in. Let's go. I'm ready to have it. Popping some popcorn for movie night. This is what I just came home to. I got two girls that are just happy to see me. The guy who is watching a movie and also playing a video game. You can do both. And wearing a Snuggie. Yeah. And using his iPad. That's just charging. And eating some popcorn. Popcorn. Which looks good. Is it still warm? No. It's pretty cold. It's still good. No, it's okay. It's, it's cold. But it's alright. So, this is the update on my finger. Oh, it's not very focused. It's okay right now. Not too bad. Definitely a wide cut, though. You haven't seen it yet. What do you think? Uh, it looks like it hurt. It still hurts pretty bad. Uh, ouch. Okay. You gotta be careful when you're handling the knives. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? <laughs> Seriously. What did I tell you guys? Alright guys, well we're gonna head to bed. Jessica has got to be up early in the morning because she's back to the school system, so that's an early day for her. Uh, the movie was... The movie was in entertaining. It, it was not a good movie, but uh, if you're looking for a ridiculous, over-the-top, nonsense type of movie to watch, you can do worse. They, they, it was kind of like the director was like, hey, Nick, Nick, we just want you to go crazy. And, and he delivered in ways that only Nicolas Cage can. And for me personally, I love that sort of thing. So I enjoyed it, but I cannot in good conscience say that Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance was a good movie. Take that as you will. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a like. Subscribe below, and we'll be back with more videos for you guys tomorrow. Bye.